guys so I am in my kitchen just checking in I uh, wanted to show you some of the stuff I got from the store because I went and got my groceries for the week um, which really I, I normally I have a lot of my stuff already so I just getting the stuff for the week is literally just the meats mostly and some of the veggies because I have a lot of the side stuff but so first I got ground chicken um, I went to Walmart today um, to get groceries, which I don't normally do because it's so not far from my house, but it's like a further drive. And but they're so much cheaper, and so I was like, I can get more there. And I just thought I was out and about, might as well. So got some egg beaters. These are a good alternative to eggs. I've had to switch to these just with the lean gains and the cutting and things like that. I'm gonna cut out a lot of carbs this week. Um, I'm gonna cut up until Valentine's Day. So this is the last week of January, and then. I guess it's about two weeks into February before you hit Valentine's Day. So I've got three weeks of cutting. I'm going to see what I can do because I can't cut out all carbs or even as low as I would really like to ideally because of lifting. I have to have some of that energy in there so I can lift heavy because I'm lifting really heavy these days. So I got some chicken breast. It is, there you go, and it's got, it's like the whole like natural, no added Anyway, I've never heard of this brand, but they had it, and it was the only one that I could find that was like, the sodium is 130 milligrams. I know that they put sodium in meat to preserve it and all that, but it's so annoying, and it's just like, okay, well, I don't know. I don't need the excess sodium. You could like, I even touch salt with my finger, and I'm like, <laughs> bloated. So, anyways, this is two and a half pounds of chicken breast. I'll cook it in the oven tonight, chop it all up. I put a bag of... Well, you could steam it in the microwave. It's brown rice. And this stuff's amazing. It's a dollar. A dollar. I think at any grocery store. It's by Bird's Eye. And it tastes better than regular rice. I don't know why. It just does. Also, the macros on it are really good. It has 4 grams of protein, 31 carbs, which is like maybe 4 or 5 carbs less than normal rice. But the sodium is 5 milligrams. Other rice... Uh, I think like minute rice, a couple others have over 100 milligrams of sodium, and I have to just be careful with my sodium intake. But uh, got some asparagus. I'm gonna chop that up, season it, put it in the oven. I got some lemons. I put them in my waters, and that's pretty much all I got. Oh, and this. This is my new thing. If you watch Lex and um, Fitness, I think that he's always like talking about Boom Baby. Like I don't know. I follow his YouTube channel. And he's from the UK, but he always eats this. And I've been eating, um, I need other sources of protein that keep me fuller than just shakes. So I've been eating protein waffles, because I love them. And I have a waffle maker. Right there. That's my waffle maker. I probably turned it too quickly. But anyway, so I saw him using this. And it's Philadelphia cream cheese, but it is milk chocolate. And if you look, the macros, it's really not that bad. Um, I mean... 2 grams of protein, 90 milligrams of sodium, 110 calories in 2 tablespoons. It's really not bad. 13 carbs. Anyway, I could put that on my protein waffles and it'll give them like an extra sweet kick to like combat that sweet tooth. And then that way um, I can stay fuller longer and I don't crave like a brownie or a cupcake or something because I've developed this sweet tooth that I really like to eat sweet sometimes. But anyways, so that's just what I got this time. Um, I actually eat backwards because of the lean gains. I don't eat till noon. And I'll have my chicken and rice stuff with like sriracha uh, or something like that on it. And then I have like a bar in the afternoon. I have these. Oh, I'll show you. I have these kind bars. They are strong. And they are. Um, here you go. <laughs> and. Um, they're 10 grams of protein in each one. They're hard. These are the honey mustard. They have a jalapeno one that I kind of want to try too. But um, I love them. I'm sorry. I have to switch arms because my arms are shaking so bad because I worked out arms today. And I'm like, Ugh. I might even lean down on the counter. That helps. <laughs> Doesn't help with the lighting because I forgot I have track lighting. Anyway, so yeah, that's what I got. Um, I have that in the afternoon. And then at dinner, I have the ground chicken, which I have some already cooked in there too. But I'm going to cook this up, which let me side note this. There's a guy who walked in front of me, like literally walked in front of me, like pushed me out of the way, took like six of these, and this was the only one left. I normally need like two or three packages, and I was like, 
this little man just took like a bunch of them. And I was like, uh, did you not notice me standing in front of this and you just took them all but one? Seriously? Anyways. But then I do egg beaters uh, at night with the ground chicken and a protein shake because it's post-lifting. So um, sometimes I'll alternate and do the protein waffle. It just depends on what I have available that night or feel like eating or how hard I worked out or how much cardio I did. So I'll definitely be keeping the cardio. Oh my gosh, my arm's killing me. Here we go. I'll hold on to the microwave. <laughs> I'll definitely be keeping my cardio up um, 30 minutes in the morning at least and then 30 minutes after lifting at night. So I'll do that and then I'll have my heavy lifting in there and just try to cut carbs as much as I can. I'm still going to need some to be able to lift and have energy to lift. Also, it'll drop my lifting levels too low if I don't eat enough, um, which will take away my muscle and also mess with my metabolism. And I've worked too hard over the last seven, almost eight weeks now of doing this. So, not gonna happen. But just wanted to show you guys my groceries and stuff. And sorry, the recording of it kind of sucked. My arm is shaking still, and I'm holding on to the microwave. It's sad, but it's awesome because my, my arms feel good because I work too. Um. Anyway, sorry. There's like messages popping up, and I read them, and I get distracted. So, check it okay, out. Okay. So I kind of lied because <laughs> I did have to get more groceries. So the first part of the grocery was from yesterday, which was Sunday, and then this is Monday. So um, I did need a couple more things because I realized with the cut that I'm doing um, and cutting out carbs and all this heavy lifting that I'm doing that I've got to make up for it somewhere else. So I'm having to add in more protein food sources. So then I keep my shake to just the two scoops a day. The protein that I got, actually I can show you guys. It tastes really good and I, I recommend it for especially someone who's just starting out. Um, it's tough to say. Okay, so it is Syntha 6 by BSN. And I don't know if you've ever had it before, but this is the vanilla ice cream. It is so good. It tastes really good and their products are really good, but I didn't realize. I had gotten it before and I guess I never went back and really looked at the macros on it and maybe now because I'm doing the, um, counting my macros so much that I, I actually noticed, um, it's 200 calories per scoop, per scoop and, um, 15 carbs. The stuff I used to have was like three carbs, 120 calories per scoop and 25 grams of protein and that only has 21. So I'm trying to keep my protein shake shakes to just right after my workout go straight into my muscles and my um, system and kind of go from there. But So I had to get some other stuff and I watched, uh, he knows when I'm filming. Fish. <laughs> I love him. He won't come in the kitchen though when I'm doing it. He just sits right at the edge of the carpet. Um, Anyway, so I watch, uh, some of you know I'm like a YouTube junkie and I have my channel, but I follow a lot of other people. And Christian Guzman and his girlfriend Nikki Blackgetter, Blackgetter, I think is how you say it. Sorry if I messed that up, guys. Um, I watch their like videos of like a full day of eating and things. And also Max Tuning is another one I watch. Um, Maddie Fusaro. All of them do the count your macros and they do a lot of full day of eating. Well, Christian had these things which I think should be shared with the fit, everyone who's fitness or trying to eat good, but they are called flat outs and the nutrition facts on these are ridiculous because they're like wraps, but look, so I don't know if you guys can see it, anyways, <laughs> so it is 9 grams of protein in one, 90 calories, only 200 grams of sodium which I don't really want because I'm trying to reduce sodium and carbs. However, I'm dropping sodium in a lot of other places, so I'll be fine. Um, 16 carbs total, which with, and then not, uh, nine grams of fiber. That fiber is amazing because fiber knocks out carbs, so that is awesome. And only 2.5 grams of fat overall. And they're pretty large. I mean, and this is wheat, so anyway, you could like make pizzas, all kinds of stuff. I'm gonna put like. Um, eating them just for the carb source uh, to not have to do constantly brown rice or things. I can use these at night, put eggs. I got egg beaters. I just showed you in the other video. So um, I also went and picked up some sweet and sour sauce because I'm out. This is just the Kroger brand. Um, it has a little more sugars than I'd prefer, but it is called sweet and sour. Uh, <laughs> it's 
got about 10 grams of sugars, 14 carbs, 150 milligrams of sodium, and 60 calories in two tablespoons. But I only put one tablespoon with some sriracha together and mix them up and put it on my chicken for lunch. So it's only half of that. Um, I needed to get more rice cakes. These are the low sodium from Kroger. They only have 10 milligrams of sodium, 40 calories, 9 carbs, and a gram of protein. My new favorite pre-workout snack. My arms still hurt. Ugh. Um, my new favorite pre-workout snack is one of these with the Philadelphia cream cheese milk chocolate that I showed you guys yesterday or on the video before this and some natural peanut butter. So I do probably not even a full tablespoon of natural peanut butter and then um, I would say not even, maybe three quarters of a tablespoon of the Philadelphia milk chocolate cream cheese and put it on it together and it, I had it today and oh my gosh it was so amazing but it gives me some carbs before my workout which is great and they're they're not um, processed or anything so that's good too I also needed some almond milk and I found this light almond milk which I think is the same thing as regular almond milk because it's normally like 35 calories but it says it has less sugar so I got that and then I needed pineapple juice which is not from concentrate for my bombshell spells in the morning um, with my um, oh my gosh, apple cider vinegar, I have, haven't had it in a week, and I, I can feel it, like my whole body, like, that apple cider vinegar is huge, and pineapple juice is really good for you, I mean, if you think about it though, fruits have carbs, if you keep your sources from there, and sugars, it's all natural and stuff, but tons of potassium, and I only have four ounces in the morning, and with this pineapple juice, and the apple cider vinegar, it's really, really good for your digestive system. So I definitely highly recommend trying the Bombshell Spell if you're on the Tone It Up nutrition plan. You know what I'm talking about. If not, get on it. Get it. It's so good. Or do shots of um, apple cider vinegar. It's so good for you. It's good for your skin. It's good for your body. It's good for your digestive system. And you can, like, it's just amazing. Um, and then I also got, and before you all judge me, I don't believe these are bad for you, but these are the Sugar-Free Monster Ultra these are the white, I like the white flavor the best. I actually just found these on Amazon <laughs> this afternoon, but it won't be here in time. Um, I found a 24 pack for like $32. That's huge because you pay, this was $6, $5.99 for a four pack. If you buy them individually, they're like almost three bucks in like a gas station or something. So those are the other things I got. All the stuff before, oh, and some more ground chicken, because remember that guy took all mine. But, um, and then I had ground turkey left over, so I have a half pound of ground turkey, a pound of ground chicken, I have another pound of that, and egg beaters and stuff, and I'll do that at night, the chicken and rice during the day, cooked everything last night, hope you guys enjoyed, I'll add my check-ins to this from today, um, this morning's workout, and, um, check in with you guys later, happy Monday! is the newer version of Waffle Crisp, which I used to have way back in the day. And I have had to try this already, and it's very, very good. I can't remember. Do you ever think sometimes that, like, you're like, maybe it doesn't taste as good, or maybe it was just better when I was younger? But either way, it's very, very you're good. You're very it's loving a like mommy, aren't you? Waffles and syrup. So I'm going to have one and a half servings of this, and I got a new tub of the cookies and cream protein, which is my absolute favorite. I'm telling you guys, if you want to try this out, Boo bear. It's in the description as always, but it's cookies and cream. You will not be disappointed. Every other protein I promise will be sub And I've never actually made it in milk. So this is one scoop. Because I got a lot of protein meat today. This is eight, eight ounces of milk, one scoop of uh, cookies and cream. So let's go ahead and try this. Yeah. Cam Cam. Cam Jansen. Did you ever that, that book, Cam Jansen? Just catching up on YouTube videos. Snuggling with my little baby. Isn't he adorable? Um, He's so great. sweet. Hold on, you can hear him purr. Pause the video. Hey, psst. psst. Boo. Don't be camera shy. <laughs> it's Monday, guys. It is. About 6.15 in the morning and it's cold and dark and rainy and all I wanted to do this morning was stay in my bed. It was so warm and I was like really comfortable and I slept through the whole night which hasn't happened in a really long time. Um, yeah, so I got up, I went, it just started raining right when I left so that was fun. I'm gonna go do my cardio.
get it in. What's up, guys? So I just finished my workout. I feel like a little snow bunny. I don't really look like one. I need to take it off until I get out of the car. You could probably hear the rain. You could definitely see it. It's messy. Ugh. I did my cardio. I did my 30 minutes. I feel good. Kind of. I'm still a little tired. My stomach is a little funky right now. Like, I can't tell if it's, like, just morning or if it, like, hurts. It's still dark out. Sorry, I have my light on in the car. But, um, it, I did do my cheat meal yesterday, but it's all I had in a protein shake because I had to have the protein after lifting. But I'm sweaty, and it's gross because I'm sweaty, and it rained. It's raining. Ugh. But, and it's cold. This is like the worst combination anyone would want for weather, right? Especially on a Monday. But you know what? That's okay because I bring my own happiness and my own sunshine. Um, anywho, <laughs> as I was saying, I did my cheat meal and I think because I've been eating so clean and it wasn't an awful cheat meal. All the ingredients were pretty fresh. I think the only thing I had that was like probably bad for me or like unhealthy-ish was the... Uh, I wonder what happens if I do this. Ooh, look at that. <laughs> uh, was the queso. And I mean, who goes to Moe's for a cheat meal and is not going to get queso? Because uh, this girl is. But I feel like everybody's going to watch me. There you go. <laughs> Cars around me. Check it in. I did it. I will. I'm going to try to do, like, stuff throughout the day. Um, even though I'm at work all day I'll try to like show you my food and stuff um and maybe videotape myself I don't know but I f I'm proud of myself for getting up I almost just decided like oh you've been working hard just sleep in this morning but that fasted cardio is really crucial to me um for burning fat because I can't do a ton of cardio like I can't do spin like I used to every night because it'll you can't do too much cardio when you're trying to build muscle or you're just kind of waste away the muscle because after like a certain period of time it's like 40 or 45 minutes your body it has expended so much energy that it goes to your muscles for more so we don't want that do we and all right so i will check with you guys later have a good monday i hope it's not as crappy of weather where you are but if it is it's okay just smile through it it's gonna be a good day bye y'all